Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Experiencing throttle issues, losing power when accelerating, engine running rough or stalling, your throttle body could very likely be the root cause. In this video, I'll cover the major signs to spot a bad throttle body and tips to get it fixed. The throttle body is a crucial component that regulates and controls airflow into the engine. The mechanical throttle body is mechanically run by a cable linked to the accelerator pedal. On the other hand, the electronic throttle body works with accelerator position sensors to send inputs to the engine control module to adjust the throttle plate position. When you press down the gas pedal, the valve of the throttle body opens more to allow more air. In this way, more fuel is injected to meet increasing power demand. When the throttle body fails, your vehicle may face different issues. Let's discuss each one in detail. Symptom 1 Fluctuating Idle Speed Fluctuating idle speeds is a common symptom of a faulty throttle body. You'll notice RPMs that rise and fall inconsistently, a persistent rough idle, or the engine stalling out completely when coming to stops. This up and down idle indicates the throttle body can no longer properly regulate a steady airflow into the engine. Symptom 2 Lack of Power Hesitation or lack of power when accelerating can signify throttle body issues. When you press down the gas pedal to speed up, a malfunctioning throttle body restricts the airflow as it can't open properly in response to the pressing of the gas pedal. As a result, the engine can't get a sufficient amount of air, as it should get to produce more power. The engine may feel like it is lagging or bogging down and be slow to respond. Symptom 3 Check Engine Light If your check engine light comes on, be sure to pay close attention to any diagnostic trouble codes related to the throttle position sensor or other throttle control components. The throttle position sensor is also prone to gradual wear and failure over time which can trigger these warning codes. Symptom 4 Limp Mode When severe throttle body problems develop, you may notice the car goes into a protective limp mode. This safety feature limits engine RPMs and power output to avoid potential engine damage from uncontrolled airflow. Now, you might be thinking how do throttle bodies fail? Well, dot carbon deposits and gunk accumulation can prevent the throttle valve from moving freely. Carbon buildup occurs from blow by gases and a lack of routine engine maintenance. Fuel, oil, and airborne contaminants leave deposits over time. These deposits can reduce airflow and restrict the movement of the throttle plate, leading to drivability issues. Also, if you don't replace the air filter regularly, the dirty airflow will damage the throttle body. Moreover, internal components like gears, shafts, and motors in electronic throttle body can become damaged or worn out over time. This leads to the loss of proper throttle control. Lastly, loose wiring connectors related to the electronic throttle body can also cause drivability and performance problems. Water intrusion into the throttle body's electrical connector can cause corrosion and loose pin connections over time. If the connector pins are loose, you may need to crimp them to tighten the connection. Now, let's discuss how to test a dirty throttle body. First, use the OBD2 scan tool to look for any trouble codes related to a bad throttle body. If your throttle body is electrical, you might observe codes such as P2101 and P2112. Next, try to move the throttle valve plate with a finger. If the valve plate binding are not moving smoothly under normal spring pressure, it means the throttle body is bad. In the case of a mechanical throttle body, try to clean it first before replacement. You should use an old toothbrush, sturdy blue paper towel and brake cleaner, or WD-40 to clean the throttle body. After cleaning, you need to reset the ECU by performing the idle relearn procedure using OBD2 scanner. It is important so that ECU can relearn engine idling parameters and throttle position. If you still observe engine performance issues, you should check throttle body gasket and hose and inspect vacuum leaks, PCV valve, fuel pressure regulator, and EGR valve. One end of the fuel pressure regulator is linked to the engine air intake system. That air is also passed through the throttle body. If fuel pressure regulator is bad, excessive fuel vapors will pass through it and damage throttle body with carbon deposits. All right guys, that covers four major symptoms of a bad throttle body and how to fix it. If you have any questions, let me know by commenting down below. For in-depth information, I have also left a link to a detailed guide in the video description. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more auto repair tips. Thanks for watching.